هيدا ذس زدين هي فروم ركاميديا دوت كوم In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to use Zoom step by step from start to finish. Welcome back. So as we all know, Zoom has recently become very popular app among video conferencing, especially in meetings and interviews after the spread of the coronavirus. So in today's video, we'll be guiding you step by step how to create your own account and start using this app for free. So first of all, let's have an idea about the different plans and pricing for this platform. Good. As you can see, it offers a basic, which comes at no cost. You can host up to 100 participants and you have 40 minute maximum group meetings and limited one to one meetings and it will be free forever and no credit card is required if you want to opt for more options you just select the other options here you will have unlimited group meetings and you can host up to 100 participants 300 or even 500 participants also there are other options like zoom phone video webinar and the zoom rooms you still have other optional add-on plans like the audio plan large meetings up to 500 interactive participants in a meeting and you also have the cloud storage where all your recordings will be stored in a cloud server great as you can see it is supported by most of the famous companies so that was the pricing in order to start using the platform you just add on to the top in here and you click on sign up it's free great next you need to confirm the birth date must be over 18 years old after confirming you just click on continue well done here you have the options to sign up with sso for the key or you can sign in with your google gmail or simply sign in with facebook and these two options are the fastest options and easiest you can also opt for signing up with uh, your email so just paste in your email in here next all we need to do is click on sign up great so the link has been sent to your email you just check your email in order to get the confirmation great so as you can see here we have received the email from zoom all we need to do is to click on activate account you will be redirected to this question are you signing up on behalf of a school yes or no let's click on yes next you need to fill in all the information required and what is important in here is you need the email which is issued to you by your school you type it in here and you check all the links and you just continue and that way you will create an account on behalf of your school we'll go back and try the other option let's click back so we'll select now good we'll open a different interface and we'll just need to confirm first name last name and the passwords select a strong password which must have at least eight characters letters numbers and uppercase and lowercase characters next step here you can invite your colleagues to create their own zoom account today let's skip this step great and this is your personal meeting url that you can send now what we need is to get the app installed in our windows so in order to do so you just click start meeting now or select any of these options at the top that way you will download the app otherwise you scroll down to the bottom of the page and here you will find meetings client great so let's hit start meetings now 
well done as you can see this is the client or the software that needs to be installed you must download it great after download is finished all you need to do is to as usual to click on open this will install the software will download the latest edition and install it and install it properly into windows so just be patient and wait until it finishes so the client is starting good you can join with computer audio you can test the speaker and the microphone so just click yes i hear it yes i hear it good the test is working perfectly no problem as you can see here the you have the meeting topic the host which is your the name that you have created the passcode the numeric passcode and the invite link that you can share with your friends and you have the participant id here you can join audio share screen or invite others let's try join with computer audio just click it As you can see here, the audio is on. Let's have an idea about the taskbar at the bottom. This is the microphone, so you can mute or unmute the sound. Click on the arrows, select at the top, select your microphone, which microphone you want to use. That's useful if you are using more than one microphone. Great. Next to you, select your speakers. It's the same if you are having more than one speakers next you have the option to test your speaker or microphone if you are running into any issues or problems you can just test it before starting your interview or meeting next you can leave computer audio and at last we have the audio settings here you have all the settings of the application it's almost the same options that we have used before you can go through them one by one general options you can start zoom when i start windows start the application automatically use dial monitor and the full screen automatically when starting or joining a meeting you can hide or show the meeting controls ask me to confirm when i leave a meeting show my connected time would be useful remind me five minutes before my upcoming meetings of my video and audio when my display is off or screen saver begins and integrate zoom with outlook next you can select the skin tone next we have the video here you will have the option different option for the camera you can select the original ratio or the hd and from here you can select your camera here come the cam is not connected but you can select from the different cameras which are connected to your computer Great. The audio have seen it. Sharing your screen for the different options, backgrounds and filters, recordings. When you click on you can record your meetings, we'll find it at this option. So you just select here which folder you want to put in your recordings. So record video during screen sharing. keep temporary recording files next you have the statistics keyboard shortcut and the accessibility great to unmute the volume just click on it and it will work again the same options that go with the audio also is valid for the cam but here the cam is not connected so to activate it just click on it and to stop it just click on it another time it will stop at the top in here you have the option of meeting information you can have at any time just to get the participant id next we have security lock meeting enable waiting room 
share screen chat follow chat into the client rename allow participants to rename themselves and allow participants to unmute themselves you can stop them from unmuting themselves if you are teaching kids so you can untick this option in order to have full control and i'm having all these options because i'm the host of this meeting so if you are not the host you will not have this option too great next option is are the participants how many participants you have so here we have just one participants and you have the microphone next to it and the level of the sound the chat which is another cool option here you can allow chat to everyone in meeting or you can just change the options you can change to participants can chat with no one to hosts only to everyone publicly or everyone publicly and directly good you can also send file from dropbox microsoft onedrive google drive box microsoft sharepoint and also from your computer that's another cool feature and the last option is record can you record the meeting the one that we are having now and your record will be on mp4 extension to pause the record just click on the pause or play if you want to stop it just click on this button stop if you want to share your screen just click on share screen from here or from this option all the open windows will appear on this screen and you can select from them another cool feature especially for teachers and instructors is the whiteboard just click on share the whiteboard here you will have different options you can just use the pen to draw also enter some text titles or tutorials or explanation stamp do and undo and also can save on pdf format or png extension good feature for instructors and teachers okay to stop just click stop sharing and voila we return back to the application good invite other you can invite your friends using the default email an email or gmail or the yahoo mail automatically remember to send the password of the meeting along with the invitation or the invite link you can copy invite link and send it in an email and this is the invitation as you can see it it includes the passcode the meeting id and the link where participants can join your uh, conference or meeting which make it very easy for participants to get in without problems if you click on the link you will receive this uh, web page in which participants will be prompt to launch the meeting or download now they will be asked to download the client if they have not installed it in their systems otherwise they can just launch directly if the meeting is already on to change your profile settings photo or name you just head on to the profile picture at the top in here click on it and select your profile great here you have the option to change click on change jpeg gif or png image less than two megabytes click on upload to upload from your computer next you just select your picture you want to great just crop it say okay voila it is featured in here great if you want to edit your email just click on edit in here you can also configure calendar and contact service by synchronizing it with your google account here also we will have all the different options meetings upcoming meetings previous the personal room and meeting templates you do not have any templates you can create some templates to be used later also we have webinars recordings recordings will be featured in here the cloud recordings when you upgrade your uh, account if you come back to meetings we'll show you how to schedule a meeting so just click on schedule a meeting well done here you select the topic add some descriptions select which date you want to use the time 
duration the time zone also if this is a recurring meeting or not if it is an interview for example passcode will be generated automatically or you can type in yours waiting room an important option in here is allow participant to join anytime even before the host mute participants upon entry an important option in order not to distract the previous participants if you have already started so i don't want any annoyance and record meeting on the local computer automatically this is also useful sometimes you forget to hit the record button and you cannot recover your uh, meeting anymore as it is not recorded so that will ensure that all your meetings will be recorded automatically next you click on save after this will be provided with the link you can copy the invitation and share it with your participants or friends or students you can also start the meeting right now or delete this meeting you can add it to your templates by clicking on templates next time you can just change the topic for example or if it is an interview just keep it and just renew the start date great it will delete this great and it is deleted in order to stay up to date and get alerts with your meetings you need to be connected with your zoom account so just select zoom you can pin it to the taskbar by just dropping it on the taskbar also you can make a shortcut into the star menu click on it great so here you will need to sign in you will need your email and the password that you have entered when you have registered so after filling in with your email and the password just you can click on keep me signed in and sign in if you have forgotten the email that you used to log in or the password just click on forgot and type in your email and it will be sent with a new link to renew your password cool let's click on sign in and voila as you can see here is the zoom up right into your desktop you can join a meeting by clicking on join just enter in the link let's try this one great okay let's end all meeting from here also you can schedule a meeting as we have seen before you can share your screen you can start a new meeting and you will have all the upcoming meetings for today if you click on your icon you will have different options like available you can set yourself as a way or do not disturb for 20 minutes one hour if you are already being active and you don't want any other person to send you invitation or any messages great you can also edit your profile right top features check for updates for the app and switch account if you have different accounts and the last option you have is to sign out of the application you and you still can use the web application you can click on the gear in here to get all the settings also have the different features the same like on the web interface the chat coming meetings or current meetings the recorded ones and here we have the contacts all the participants taking part in your meetings or conference or interviews will be listed in here if you click on exit the application is still available on your taskbar or notification bar you can switch the languages or different languages join meetings still have all the different options if you want to exit from here just select exit and the application will end but you will not be notified of any upcoming meetings or any alerts so as we said for the free plan you are limited to 100 participants and to 40 minutes so make sure you do not exceed this in order to plan your meetings within this limit otherwise opt for paid options if you want to end the meeting you just click on end here we will have two options and meeting for all or leave meeting so if you are the host you will have these two options otherwise we'll have just one option which is leave meeting if you are just one participant so here we'll click on and meeting for all www
when you end your meeting a folder will open providing you with the link to your conference to the record of your meeting. conference this is the recording which is audio record you can change the folder from the settings and this brings us to the end of this uh, tutorial keep tuned for coming tutorials and tips on how to make the most of zoom till then this is your host is Dean. see you around thank you for watching if you like this video do consider sharing it click on the like button and go ahead and leave us a comment below we'd love to hear from you and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and the notifications to get the latest tutorials that will inspire empower and connect you www.rackmedia.com